The Treasure of the Throne, A Journey of the Young Prince Chapter 1 Introduction The Coronation The young prince stood at the edge of the throne room and looked out at the sea of faces staring at him expectantly. Today was the day he would be crowned king, and he did not feel ready for it. His father, the king, had died suddenly a month ago, leaving him with the burden of kingship. The prince was unsure if he could live up to the high expectations. The coronation ceremony began and the prince knelt before the throne, ready to swear the oath. The archbishop handed him the sword and raised it high in the air. At that moment, something unexpected happened. A bolt of pure energy shot out of the sword and struck the prince. The crowd gasped in shock as the prince fell to the ground. When he regained consciousness, he was in a strange room that he did not know how he had gotten there. An old woman stood before him and said, Your coronation was only the beginning of a great journey that you must undertake to fulfill your destiny. The treasure of the throne that your father so desired is the key to your power. You must find it before your enemies do. The prince was confused and frightened, but also curious and ready to challenge what fate had in store for him. He knew that the journey he was about to embark on would be fraught with danger, but he was willing to do anything to protect his crown and his people. And so he set out in search of the treasure of the throne. Characterization of the young prince The young prince was an impressive personality with a unique combination of courage, intelligence and compassion. Although he was still young, he possessed a natural leader personality that enabled him to walk confidently through difficult situations. His determination and perseverance were remarkable, and he did not let obstacles stop him on his way to the throne treasure. The prince was also known for his integrity and fairness. When his property was stolen by a robber, he did not hesitate to reclaim it. He tracked the robber to his hiding place and stole it back at night when the robber was asleep. Although justifiably angry, the prince showed remarkable forbearance and forgave the robber instead of seeking revenge. The young prince also possessed a big heart and was willing to help wherever he could. He had a special talent for understanding and listening to people, which helped him build good relationships with others. These qualities made him a true hero and inspired those around him. Overall, the young prince was a fascinating character with a remarkable combination of courage, intelligence, compassion and integrity. His adventures in search of the throne treasure would further demonstrate his talents and virtues and make him a true legend. The Death of the King It was a cold, rainy morning when the young prince awoke in his bedroom. He had had a fitful sleep, with dreams of a dark figure whispering something to him. When he got up and opened the window, he heard the clanking of weapons and the thundering of horses' hooves approaching the castle. The prince hurried to the throne room, where he was already awaited by a messenger. Your Highness, the messenger said breathlessly. Your Majesty, the king, is dead. The prince was stunned. He could not believe it. His father, the most powerful king in the land, was dead. How could this be? The messenger explained that the king had suddenly fallen ill while hunting in the woods and died. There was no sign of an attack or an accident. It had simply happened. The young prince was deeply saddened. He spent the whole day thinking about his father's death and what it meant for him and the kingdom. In the evening, when he was alone in his room, he heard a soft whisper. It was the same dark figure from his dreams. Young prince, said the figure. Your father did not die of natural causes. He was murdered and it is your destiny to find the murderer and seek justice for your father. The prince was frightened, but also curious. Who was this figure and how did he know about his father's murder? And was it really his destiny to find the murderer? He decided to go on a journey to find answers. It was the beginning of an adventure that would take him to places he never imagined and confront him with dangers he never thought possible but he was willing to do anything to find out the truth and seek justice for his father. Chapter 2 The Journey Begins The young prince meets an old sage. After learning of his father's death, the young prince decided to search for answers on his own. 
So he set out on a journey to find out what had actually happened. The first night on his journey was cold and uncomfortable. The prince was exhausted and worried, but he knew he had to keep going. As he climbed a small hill, he saw a man sitting on a stone in the distance, looking up at the stars. The prince approached him cautiously and greeted him. The old man turned and looked at the prince. His eyes radiated wisdom and his smile was warm. Welcome, young traveler, he said. I see that you are in search of something. Perhaps I can help you. The prince told the old man about his search for answers and his grief over the loss of his father. The old man listened intently and nodded thoughtfully. I understand, he said. You are searching for truth and justice. But do you know, young prince, that the answers you seek are not always easy to find? The prince nodded and looked at the old man expectantly. But don't worry, the old man said. I am a wise man and I can show you the way. Follow me, young prince, and I will show you where the journey will take you. With these words, the old man rose and went ahead. The prince followed him and was surprised how easy he felt in his company. The way was arduous, but the company of the sage made it an adventure. The prince was ready for the next stage of his journey and for the discoveries that lay ahead. The sage gives the young prince the first clue. The young prince had set out to learn the truth about his father's death. He wandered through the land until he finally met an old sage. The sage was sitting under a tree meditating. The prince approached him and asked if he could help him find the truth. The sage looked up and regarded the prince. Why do you seek the truth? He asked. The prince told the sage about his father's death and how he felt compelled to find out what had happened. The sage nodded. I can help you, but it will not be easy, he said. You will have to pass many tests and overcome many challenges before you can find the truth. The prince was willing to do whatever was necessary to learn the truth. The sage gave him the first clue, go to the tower at the edge of the forest. There you will find the first clue to the way to the truth. The prince thanked the sage and set off for the tower. He was ready for his journey and determined to do everything he could to learn the truth. The Prince and the Adventurers The young prince, in search of answers about his father's death, continued traveling through the country. Suddenly, he met a group of adventurers who were about to leave on a dangerous mission. The group consisted of five people, a strong fighter named Thorgrim, a talented mage, a shrewd thief, a cunning scout and a healer. Thorgrim was an impressive sight. He was tall and muscular, with broad shoulders and a strong build. His skin was tanned from the sun and his beard was long and unkempt. His eyes were a deep blue and his nose was slightly curved, giving him a striking appearance. His clothes were worn and mended, but still testified to his strength and determination. The young prince was surprised by Thorgrim and the other adventurers, but he felt that he could trust them. Without hesitation, he offered to help them on their mission and join them. The adventurers agreed and together they set out to find the answers the young prince so desperately sought. Chapter 3 The Search for the Treasure of the Throne The Group Journey The group, consisting of the young prince and the adventurers, set out through various landscapes in search of the treasure of the throne. When they reached a mountain range, they quickly realized that they had to climb the highest peak to reach the treasure. But the summit turned out to be a challenge, because it was surrounded by dangers. The adventurers and the young prince had to face strong storms and icy winds. It was a dangerous climb, where they had to constantly watch out for ice and snow formations to avoid slipping or falling. In addition, there were wild animals in the mountains that could attack at any time. The group was forced to be constantly vigilant and have their weapons ready to protect themselves against the threats. But the greatest risk was the legend surrounding the treasure of the throne. It was said that it was protected by a powerful spell that would kill anyone who dared to touch it. The group was determined to overcome the dangers and find the treasure, but they also knew they had to be careful. Despite all the obstacles and threats, the group continued on their way to the summit, knowing that the throne treasure was the only thing that could help them avenge the king's death and save the kingdom. 
creatures and riddles. The journey through the countryside was full of challenges for the young prince and his companions. They encountered dangerous creatures that they had to fight in order to move forward. One particular challenge was solving tricky riddles that would show them the way to the throne treasure. One of these puzzles was a labyrinth of stone walls in which they had to find their way. The walls were covered with hieroglyphics that they had to decipher to find the right path. There were many wrong turns and traps that they had to avoid to finally reach the center of the maze. There they found a room with a huge stone engraved with another hieroglyph. They had to figure out how to move the stone to get the next clue. After much deliberation and many attempts, they finally figured out that they had to touch the stone in a certain order to move it. When they solved the puzzle, a hidden passage opened up that led them to their next destination. The challenges they faced on their journey not only strengthened their skills with weapons and puzzles, but also their cooperation and determination. For only together could they reach their goal and find the throne treasure. The Father and the Curse During their search for the treasure of the throne, the young prince became deeper and deeper into the secret of his cursed father. After many dangerous encounters and tricky puzzles, he finally discovered that his father had been cursed by a powerful sorcerer. This sorcerer was an impressive sight, with an imposing stature and an aura of power and intelligence. His eyes shone a bright blue and his long white hair was tied in a braid that reached to the middle of his back. He wore a robe of shimmering velvet, decorated with golden embroidery. On his hands he wore a pair of long, cut crystal rings that sparkled with every movement. His face was sharply cut and dotted with fine lines that indicated his years of experience in wielding magical powers. His voice was deep and resonant, lending an ominous meaning to every word he spoke. Chapter 4 The Finale The group finds the throne treasure. After many adventures and challenges, the young prince and his party finally managed to find the throne treasure. However, their joy was quickly dampened when they were faced with a magical barrier that denied them access to the treasure. The group was distraught, but the young prince remembered the words of the sage who told him to always follow his instincts. The young prince walked toward the barrier and placed his hands on it. Suddenly he felt a strong energy flowing through his body. He closed his eyes and concentrated, and the barrier began to crumble and eventually disappeared altogether. The group was amazed and impressed by the young prince's strength. They entered the room where the throne treasure was hidden and were amazed at the sight. The treasure was wrapped in gold and jewels and shone in all the colors of the rainbow. The group was thrilled and couldn't wait to lay their hands on the treasure. But they knew they had to be careful, as they did not yet know if the treasure might be cursed. Nevertheless, the joy of finding the throne treasure was great and the group could hardly wait to take the next steps to break the curse and bring the young prince to the throne. The Demon Fight After the group finally found the throne treasure, one last challenge stood in their way, a powerful demon that protected the treasure. The demon was huge and its eyes glowed a dangerous red. Its body was covered with black scales and flames emanated from its mouth. The adventurers knew that they were fighting not just a normal opponent, but an invincible creature. The demon was incredibly strong and had already defeated many warriors who had tried to steal the treasure. But the group was ready for battle. They fought bravely against the demon, but it seemed that they had no chance. The demon was just too powerful and they could not even scratch it. But then the young prince remembered the sage's advice that he should listen to his heart in difficult times. The young prince concentrated on his heart and suddenly a bright light shone. As the light faded, there stood before him a weapon he had never seen before. It was a sword whose blade was made of pure light. With the sword in his hand, the young prince delivered the decisive blow against the demon. The blade penetrated the demon's scales and destroyed it from within. The demon roared in pain and finally disappeared in an explosion of light. The group was relieved to see that the battle was over. The young prince had managed to defeat the demon and save the throne treasure. Now he just had to break the curse on his father. The curse is broken. The young prince stood in front of the statue holding the talisman he needed to break the curse that was on his father. 
he had finally found the throne treasure he had been searching for so long. As he grasped the talisman, a mighty flash shook the room and a voice boomed through the hole. Who dares touch the talisman? Who are you that you dare to break the curse? The voice asked. The prince raised his head and bravely answered, I am the king's son and I am here to break the curse. The talisman began to glow and a magical power flooded the room. The curse was broken and life returned to the king's body. The young prince had managed to save his father. He held up the talisman and announced in a loud voice, the curse is broken. The kingdom is saved. The members of the group who had accompanied him on his quest cheered with joy and pride in the brave young prince. They had mastered what many had thought impossible. The search for the throne treasure was over and the kingdom could once again live in peace and prosperity. The young prince had proven that he was a true hero. With the talisman in his hand and the knowledge that he had saved his father, he returned to the royal palace to be crowned as the new king. The future of the kingdom looked bright and full of hope, and all thanks to the courage and determination of the young prince. Chapter 5 Conclusion The Hero The young prince finally returned home after a long time, hailed as a hero by the people he had saved. After the death of his father, the king, he had become an important figure who held the future of the kingdom in his hands. As the prince walked through the streets, he was greeted by cheering crowds who celebrated and fated him. Children threw flowers his way, women threw kisses in his direction, and men slapped him on the shoulders. The queen, the widow of the late king, was already waiting for him at the castle. She welcomed him with open arms and hugged him tightly. Welcome home, my son, she said in a tearful voice. You have made your father proud and saved the kingdom. You are now ready to inherit his legacy. The prince nodded solemnly. He knew that a heavy responsibility was upon him, but he was ready to do his best and lead the kingdom in peace and prosperity. He stood before the throne and vowed that he would cherish the kingdom and do his best to make it a better place. The people cheered and clapped enthusiastically. The young prince had found his destiny and was ready to begin his new role as king. He was a hero, a savior, and a king, and the people were ready to follow him. The Coronation The death of the old king had plunged the kingdom into deep mourning. But the inhabitants knew that they still needed a strong and just leader to uphold the kingdom and lead it into peace and prosperity. As the natural successor to the late king, the young prince stepped up to take the crown. The coronation ceremony took place in the throne room. The inhabitants of the kingdom, nobles, diplomats and representatives of other countries had come to witness the event. The air was filled with excitement and anticipation. The young prince entered the throne room and walked to the throne. He was dressed in a magnificent robe and his eyes flashed with pride and determination. The bishops and priests came forward and began the ceremony with prayers and blessings. Finally, it was time to present the crown. The archbishop stepped forward and placed the crown on the young prince's head. I hereby crown you king of the kingdom. May God grant you wisdom and strength to rule the kingdom in peace and justice, the Archbishop solemnly proclaimed. The ceremony was accompanied by jubilant applause and the inhabitants of the kingdom celebrated the coronation of their new king. The young prince had proven that he was ready to take responsibility for the kingdom and be a just and wise ruler. The coronation marked the beginning of a new chapter in the history of the kingdom. Under the leadership of the young king, the people were confident that there would be a time of prosperity and peace. The Separation The conclusion of the adventure was a milestone for the group, which had mastered what many thought impossible. With the young prince crowned king and the kingdom once again living in peace and prosperity, it was time to celebrate the group's exploits. The celebrations took place in the castle courtyard, where the group was greeted by many citizens and nobles. The members of the group were overwhelmed by the crowd that had come to celebrate them. The young king gave a speech and thanked everyone for their help in saving the kingdom. After the speech, the heroes were awarded medals and treasures recognizing their merit for their heroic deeds. Each of them received a crown, which was a symbol of their bravery and loyalty to the kingdom. 
As the festivities came to an end, the members of the group said goodbye to each other. They had formed close friendships and had experienced unforgettable adventures. Each of them went their own way, but they knew they would always remain friends. The kingdom recovered under the leadership of the young king and the legends of the group's exploits were carried on, inspiring future generations. It was a fitting end to an unforgettable journey and a new chapter for the kingdom. Summary How exciting! Another story about a rich, privileged prince who goes on a great adventure, this time in search of treasure to save his cursed father. Thrilling, right, but wait, it gets even better. Not only did the young prince have the best guide, but he also had the best luck finding the treasure on the first try. And as if that wasn't enough, he even received a magical instruction from an all-powerful voice. But don't worry, our hero had everything under control and broke the curse by simply grabbing the talisman. Just like that, of course, after saving his father, he was crowned a hero and got all the fame and praise he deserved. And to top it all off, he even became king. What a happy ending. But we must not forget that the group that helped him on his journey was also rewarded. A little gold and a little recognition here and there, and they were satisfied. And so they all parted in peace and lived happily ever after. Yes, it is truly amazing what a little power and wealth can do. Who would have thought that everything would be so easy? But hey, that's probably why there are so many stories about rich and privileged protagonists who have everything and still get more.